Hey, this is Mike, and this is Create with Code. This is a course, a free course that Unity Learn has. Um, so you can go to this site, check it out, and I would recommend doing this course. I've gone through this course. It's really good for beginners if you want to learn how to use Unity. It, it steps you through various projects that teach you learn uh, different ways of creating games in unity so uh, but um, for my channel here I'm going to do a, a small se a series on how you would do implement these projects in using game creator 2 um, so instead of code right so with game creator 2 we don't need uh, code per se um, but and we can implement these things without code so I'm going to step through each project and we're going to do this is going to be a, a series and we are going to start with this unit one player control so let's get started so first of all what we want to do is create a, a project in unity and we also need the project files so what we want to do here is select the uni version of 6 they've updated create with code to version 6 recently so which is great so now the project files that they have in each project they are available for version 6 so So to get the starter files for lesson one, we want to go into lesson 1.1, start your 3D engines, select, make sure the version six is selected, and click the prototype one starter files, and that will download a zip file. And inside this zip file is a Unity package. So keep this uh, handy you're gonna need that in a, f in a few minutes so we're going to create a new project for the prototype one project so you can use universal 3d the URP and then title it so something like GC2 prototype one that's what I'll call it and then and then create the project so once that's finished loading we can click this remove re readme assets because we won't need that. And then we want to install Game Creator 2. So install Game Creator 2, just the core module is all we'll need. And then download and then import that. Click the install upgrade. And click the import here to import that. And then once that's finished installing, we want to go to the Game Creator install and get the examples. So install the examples and then we're ready for that. And then the next step is to bring in the assets for the, that you just downloaded from there. So you go assets, import package, custom package, and import this prototype one starter files, U6 Unity package. And that imports into this course library. And we've got the source file. So there's ground, road, obstacles. These are already URP compatible. So there's no need to run the render pipeline converter. We can just access these directly. So They've automatically up, up, they've upgraded these to URP, I guess. If you use, as long as you have the Unity 6 version of it. 
And there's some vehicles in here. So we've got these. These are Cinti assets. I think some of them from Simple Packs or from the Prototype Pack or something like that. So the license for these is non-commercial. You cannot use them in commercial projects because they are provided by Cinti Studios not for commercial use if you would like to use any of the assets from this package in commercial projects please purchase one of their asset packs from the Cinti studios asset store page they don't really tell you which packs these exact assets are in but you can you'd have to like look for them but i think these are like simple town or something like that i'm not sure exactly where they're from and the sky, so there's a sky dome and a mountain sky box. These are the assets just for that first project. So, and then the, so we have the ground that's going to be just a piece of road basically. So if we go into the next step, that's import assets and open. So we're going to follow these steps, but we're going to adapt it to Game Creator 2 where we're needed. So, uh, and you can go in and watch these videos as too. It tells you what to do. Um, so yes, we've in, so we've imported the starter files, and we want to go into the prototype one scene. And delete the sample scene once we've done that. So they have scenes. This is prototype one comes in the that package. And then we, we're just supposed to delete the sample scene. So we have prototype one. So all it is all this is is a skybox and a piece of road right that's it so it's a fairly simple scene so then we go to the next step add your vehicle to the scene so we just want to drag a vehicle into the hierarchy window so you can pick whichever one you want um, the one they use is this one the red so just drag that in to the hierarchy and it should go right there and position zero 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 if it doesn't then reset or you can reset the position property or you can just say reset so there we have it you can focus on it and that's it you got the car Um, it just tells you how to zoom and pan and stuff like that. You can look into that on your own. Uh, and then we want to add an obstacle and reposition. So let's take a look at the obstacles. We got barrels, crates, a barrier. Um, but in in this particular, in the actual tutorial, they use the, the crate, I think. So we drag in, they say drag it into this here, and then we can reset the property and put it to Z of 25. So now it's all the way down the road a little bit. So now the next step, you want to run the game and look through the camera. So there is a camera, main camera there, already. And it's going to, it's going to be a side view. So if we, run the game that's all we're going to see it's just going to be the side view so now it's where they're going to position the camera um, <clears throat> and customize the layout 
but uh, we're not going to do that. What um, you want to move the camera behind the vehicle. So we're going to do that. Take a look. So let's just move it over here. And rotate that. And we can see how that looks in there. Just let's see here. And mine's a little off. I don't know. You can do this to see how it's yeah. So there you go. That's good. And so that's the end of that lesson basically. And then we want to, so next, we'll do pedal, the pedal to the metal.